It seems every time I demonstrate PaintShop Pro Photo, I inevitably get the same question. Can I take an object or a person out of one photo and put it in another? The answer is an absolute yes. Not only can you do this, but it's relatively easy. There are actually several ways to do this process, and I am, of course, going to show you the easiest way. You'll be happy to know that this method does not involve masking, selections, or layers like it might in some of your more expensive photo editing applications. Want to learn how? Okay, here we go. Open your two photos in PaintShop Pro Photo. Your source photo, the one you want to take the object out of, and your destination photo, the one you, where you want to put the object back into. There really is only one caveat that makes this process be as easy as possible, and that is to try your best to use an image that has the biggest color contrast between the object you want and the rest you don't. The background eraser tool that we'll be using has, as its key feature, the awesome ability to automatically determine where one object ends and the other one begins as you draw over this change boundary. It's the photo that you want to remove the object from that will benefit from the high contrast. The other one doesn't matter. It can be really any photo. Now this may at first sound confusing, but you'll see that it really isn't and the background eraser will do most of the work for you, I promise. I've chosen a photo of a child that I would like to remove from its background and another one of its destination. So let's get started. First, choose the background eraser tool from the vertical toolbar on the left. When you do so, you might also notice if you have it open, directions for using it in the Learning Center will show up just to the left of the toolbar. Feel free to take advantage of this if you can. Your cursor has now changed to a circle with a crayon-like object in the middle. Hold the Alt key down and drag up to make the circle smaller and down to make the circle bigger. The size that work best depends on the situation. Make your circle bigger for the easy parts and smaller for the more detailed parts. Click and drag with the marker object in the area that you do not want with the circle just overlapping the area that you do want. The tool itself will use this to determine what to erase and what to keep, like so. Make sure the pen does not creep into the part that you want to keep, as you see here. Always use Control Z to get out of situations like that. I highly recommend that you click and drag some, then let go and continue on. Otherwise, if you make a mistake, you'll be starting a long ways back. So what you'll notice, I'm actually not selecting the boy per se as what masking might do in selections. I'm actually just making the pixels I don't want transparent. Once you're done, select your pick tool. Do Control A to select all, Control C to copy, select your destination image and do a control V to paste. And then while your pick tool is still selected, resize the little guy and place him exactly where you would like him. Pretty easy, right? Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next Corel video tutorial.